This video shows you how you can monitor and restrict the amount of data that a Fire TV stick uses. Now, you might be on a restrictive package which only gives you so many gigabytes worth of data included and then you might have to start paying a premium once you go over that. Most UK internet providers have unlimited usage nowadays, which means you don't have to worry about this, but if you're using a, a mobile phone package or a an old you've got an old contract then you may well have to worry about how much data your fire tv stick is gobbling up so here's what you do so grab your remote control press and hold the picture of the house until this menu appears then let go and then go across to settings once settings is highlighted press the middle button on the remote control and then we need to go across to preferences. So once preferences is highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control and then go down to data monitoring. Once data monitoring is highlighted, press the middle button on the remote control and there you go. As you can see, it's switched off at the moment. So with data monitoring highlighted, if I press the middle button on the remote control, it turns it on. And we've got a couple of things here. So we can actually set the video quality here. So anything that we use, I guess this is going to be on Amazon Prime rather than other third party apps. But what we can do is we can say, right, set the video quality to best if we're on an unlimited package, better, which basically gives you like lower bit rates, saves a bit of internet data, which means you're not going to gobble up as much information, but the quality is still going to be quite good. Or you can select good. So this saves the most amount of internet data by streaming at much lower bit rates and minimizing caching or caching. So uh, that is probably the best one to have if you are on a restrictive package and worried about running out of data. Like I say, if you're on an unlimited package, then best is probably the best option to have. But if you do frequently have problems with perhaps uh, videos buffering from Amazon Prime, then you could always just try better or good as an alternative, which, like I say, doesn't send as much information through the wires and might mean that you get less buffering when doing it that doing it on better or good. So the other thing you can do is you can set a data alert. So once your stick has used a certain amount of data there, you can say if, you, if you're on a, uh, I don't know, for instance, a, uh, a, a, a four gigabyte data usage allowance. So you could say, right, once the Fire TV sticks use three gigabytes, you could set that as three then give me a warning and it asks you for the, the start date of your monthly internet bill. So when your usage is reset, so for here I could say the first, but check with your your internet provider or your mobile provider to find out what date your, uh, your usage is reset. Put that in here. And OK, so it says you'll receive an on-screen alert when your Amazon Fire TV stick has consumed three gigabytes of data. So that gives you a warning so that you can do one of two things, either stop using your Fire TV stick or use it a bit less, or you can um, obviously buy more data from uh, uh, your, your provider. So let's just confirm that. OK, so this is what you get come up when uh, your data limit is reached. So there you go. So it tells me you have used 100 percent of your 3 GB data limit for this billing cycle to update your data limit settings. Go to settings, preferences and data monitoring. But really what you should be doing here is perhaps stop using your Fire TV stick until your data is reset by your Internet provider or contact your internet provider to dis discuss options to try and get more of a usage allowance. So you can also, you've also got this option here which says monthly top data usage. So if I go into that, so at the moment what it's doing is it's telling me all of the apps that I've got installed on here and how much data usage they're taking. So you perhaps know what to either stop using or use less of. So uh, so that's pretty good. And like I say, that is in order of most data used. So there you go. So that guide showed you how to set the data monitoring preferences to try and help stop you from going over 
your data usage allowance with your either your mobile provider or your internet service provider. I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CW Tech. That's at CW Tech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.